In the kingdom of Valoria, a land where strength was valued above all else, there was a princess named Arya. Unlike the delicate and demure royals of other kingdoms, Arya was known for her incredible strength and muscular physique. She was a warrior at heart, often found sparring with the kingdom's knights or training in the royal gymnasium. Her muscles were as sculpted as the marble statues that lined the castle's grand halls, and her spirit was as unyielding as the steel of her sword. Arya's life took an unexpected turn when she discovered she was pregnant. The news came as a shock, not just to her, but to the entire kingdom. For as long as anyone could remember, no princess of Valoria had ever combined the duties of royalty with the rigorous life of a warrior, let alone while expecting a child. Despite the surprise, Arya faced this new chapter of her life with the same determination and strength that had defined her. She continued her training, albeit with a few modifications. The royal physicians and advisors fussed over her, urging her to take it easy, but Arya wouldn't hear of it. This child will be strong, she would say, her hand resting protectively on her growing belly. They will know their mother's strength before they even take their first breath. As the months passed, Arya's body changed, but her resolve only grew stronger. The people of Valoria admired her even more. To them, she was the embodiment of their values, strength, courage, and resilience. They spoke of how the child she carried would one day lead the kingdom with the same power and grace as their mother. One day, as Arya was practicing her swordplay in the castle courtyard, she felt a sharp pain in her abdomen. It was unlike anything she had felt before, not even in battle. The pain brought her to her knees, and her heart raced as she realized what was happening. The child was coming. But the battle-hardened princess was not one to be easily defeated by pain. She gritted her teeth and breathed through the contractions, refusing to let fear overtake her. The knights who were training nearby rushed to her side, but Arya waved them off, determined to make it to her chambers on her own. With each step, she felt the weight of both her duty as a princess and the new role she was about to embrace as a mother. The castle staff quickly prepared for the birth, and as Arya lay in her bed, she thought of the future. She knew that the path ahead would be challenging, but she welcomed it. After all, she was Arya, the warrior princess, and there was nothing she couldn't face. The story continues as Arya's labor progresses, and the castle prepares for the arrival of the royal heir. The people of Valoria, though anxious, believe in their princess's strength. They gather in the castle's courtyard, waiting for the first cries of the newborn to echo through the halls. As the night deepens, Arya fights through the pain with the same fierceness she brought to battle. Her heart beats with the rhythm of an ancient warrior's drum, a reminder that she is not alone in this struggle. The spirits of her ancestors, great warriors of Valoria, stand beside her, lending their strength to her in this sacred moment. Hours pass, and finally, with one last, powerful push, Arya hears the cry she's been waiting for. The sound is like music to her ears, and tears of relief and joy stream down her face. The royal midwife carefully wraps the newborn in a soft, velvet cloth and hands the baby to Arya. The child's eyes are wide open, filled with curiosity and a fierce spark that mirrors Arya's own. As she gazes at her baby, Arya feels a deep connection, one that transcends the bond between mother and child. This is the future of Valoria, a new warrior to carry on the legacy of their people. Arya cradles the baby in her arms, whispering a vow that she will protect and guide them with all the strength she possesses. But just as she is about to rest, a sudden commotion arises outside her chamber. The doors burst open, revealing one of her most trusted knights, breathless and pale. Your Highness, there is trouble at the northern borders, the knight says, his voice tinged with urgency. A dark force approaches, something we have never faced before. Arya's heart quickens, but she does not falter. She looks down at her child, then back at the knight. Prepare the men, she commands, her voice strong and unwavering. I will join you shortly. The knight hesitates, his eyes flicking to the newborn in her arms, but he knows better than to question his princess. He bows and leaves to carry out her orders. Arya gently hands her child to the nursemaid, her heart heavy with the weight of what she must do. But she knows that protecting her kingdom is part of protecting her child's future. She arms herself with her sword and armor, her body still aching from the birth, but her spirit as fierce as ever. The princess, now a mother and a warrior both, steps into the night, 
ready to face whatever darkness threatens her land. She knows that this battle, like the many before it, will test her. But she is Arya, the muscular princess of Valoria, and she has never lost a fight. Arya, with her newborn child left in the care of her trusted nursemaid, marches out into the cold, starless night. The northern skies are ominous, swirling with dark clouds that seem to pulse with an unnatural energy. The air itself is thick with a foreboding that chills even the most hardened warriors of Valoria to their bones. As Arya reaches the northern borders, she sees what her knight had spoken of, an army of shadowy figures, their forms indistinct and ever-changing, as though they were made of the very darkness that surrounded them. At the head of this dark force stood a figure more terrifying than anything Arya had ever faced, an ancient sorcerer, exiled long ago, now returned to Valoria with a vengeance. His eyes gleamed with a malevolent light, and his presence seemed to suck the warmth from the air. The soldiers of Valoria, though brave and strong, wavered in the face of such an overwhelming force. But Arya, fueled by the fierce love she held for her child and her kingdom, refused to yield. She raised her sword high, the gleam of its blade a beacon of hope in the encroaching darkness. The battle that followed was unlike any other. The shadow army moved like a single, malevolent entity, their attacks swift and relentless. Arya fought with every ounce of strength she had, her muscles burning and her heart pounding as she slashed through the dark figures. Her warriors followed her lead, inspired by her courage, but even the bravest of them could feel the tide turning against them. As the hours dragged on, the once powerful army of Valoria began to falter. The shadows seemed endless, and for every one that was cut down, two more appeared in its place. Arya's movements became slower, her body weakened by the recent birth and the unceasing onslaught. Still, she fought on, knowing that retreat was not an option. The fate of her kingdom, her people, and her child rested on her shoulders. In the midst of the chaos, the sorcerer advanced, his eyes locked on Arya. He raised his hands, and the shadows around him converged, forming a swirling vortex of darkness that threatened to engulf the princess. Arya braced herself, gripping her sword tightly, but she could feel her strength waning. With a sudden, powerful gesture, the sorcerer unleashed the full force of his dark magic. Arya, though weakened, raised her sword in a final, desperate attempt to defend herself. The clash of light and darkness sent a shockwave through the battlefield, knocking warriors off their feet and scattering the shadows momentarily. But when the dust settled, Arya was on her knees, her sword shattered, and her body trembling with exhaustion. The sorcerer approached her, a cruel smile playing on his lips. You fought well, princess, he sneered, but your strength alone was never enough to defeat me. Arya looked up at him, her eyes blazing with defiance, even as her body betrayed her. She knew that she had nothing left to give, that this might be the end of her story. But she refused to let fear or despair cloud her final moments. I may fall, she whispered, her voice barely audible over the howling wind, but Valoria will rise again. My child will rise again. The sorcerer's smile faded slightly, his expression darkening as he realized that even in defeat, Arya was unbroken. He raised his hand once more, summoning a final wave of darkness to finish the job. Arya closed her eyes, thinking of her child, imagining their future, a future that would now have to be built without her. As the darkness descended, a single tear slipped down her cheek, a tear for the life she would never live, the child she would never see grow, and the kingdom she would never save. The darkness engulfed her, and the battlefield fell silent. When the dawn broke over Valoria, the once mighty army of the kingdom lay scattered and defeated. The sorcerer and his shadows had retreated, leaving a cold, eerie silence in their wake. Among the fallen was Arya, her body still and peaceful, as though she had simply fallen asleep after a long and weary battle. The people of Valoria mourned their loss deeply. They buried their princess with the highest honors, her legend becoming the stuff of songs and stories. In her hand, they placed the fragments of her shattered sword, a symbol of her unyielding strength. But even in the midst of their sorrow, the people did not despair. For they knew that Arya's spirit lived on in her child, the heir to Valoria's throne. They vowed to protect the child and to rebuild the kingdom, carrying forward the legacy of their warrior princess. And so, though Arya's story ended in tragedy, her strength and courage continued to inspire the kingdom she loved. Her child grew up hearing tales of their mother's bravery, 
and when the time came, they took up their mother's sword, reforged and whole once more, ready to defend Valoria as fiercely as Arya had done. In this way, the spirit of the muscular princess lived on, a beacon of hope and strength in a world that had known too much darkness.